Hello friends and welcome to Classy Handmade. So, it's been a while. So, I'm here today to show you the things that I've made in the while that I've been here. <laughs> so, it's since Easter, sometime around Easter or before Easter, I came on and I show you some stuff that I've made. So, I'm here today and today is the 14th of April so guys it is getting the time is flying by so fast here in Arizona school closed in May so before I go any further before we get into this video my name is Shonda and this is my podcast classy handmade where I show you what I've made things that I'm working on and I like all craft I like making whatever my hands can make I will try to make so welcome so today I have a few things that I would like to show you I have a new pattern that I made for the Easter I probably make two new patterns for the Easter but right now I only have one that I can show you I probably pop in a picture so you can see so welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome to all my returning subscribers. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing this video that I've been putting out. So before we go any further, let me show you what I've been working on, my new pattern, things that I've finished, and so on. So I'm going to show you my latest patterns that I came up with. So this is my latest pattern and it is a sheep i think in my last video i mentioned that i had a customer that was asking for sheep and she didn't like the one that i had so i made this one on my own i used for this sheep i used the michael's No, sorry guys. I didn't use Michael's yarn. I used the posh yarn in gray and I used the big twist yarn for the body. And I'll tell you the reason why I use two different size of yarn. Lots of sheep, most people make it with bobble stitch. I hate bobble stitch. It's too much work and I don't want to I want to give you something that you don't have to do the bobble stitch. So I used two different size of yarn. The white yarn is much bigger. I can't find a ball band because I keep throwing away my ball bands. So let me see. I have a ball band. It's big twist. Is it big, big? No, it is not big twist, big, big. Anyhow, I can't remember, but it's the big twist plush yarn. I think it's probably like a number six. So I use that so it would give you a more fluffy effects for the body and the head. And the limbs, I use the posh yarn. That's a number five weight yarn. So I use that so it would give the limbs a little more smaller. So this is how the sheep came out. Like, oh boy, I forgot his tail. So I have to apply a tail. So this is my sheep. I have to do the tutorial. I will be bringing out the tutorial here on the YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that so this is one of my sheep that I created here is another one and this one here I did put the tail and I use the same yarn but instead I give this one a little pink nose and it have a little flower in the head so I made these two using the same yarn and then I put, I think these are like 18 millimeter eyes. So I made those. Then I made this one. And I used for this one, I didn't use the Michael plush yarn. I used both posh yarn for this. So I used posh yarn for the body and posh yarn for the thing and then I do the embroider I did my eyes embroider eyes I told my kids I said do this look like a little rat they said no mom it look like a sheep <laughs> so these are my three 
shapes. And here I made a cow. And this is my own pattern that I just free flow and make cows. So I use some burned blanket yarn for the muzzle. And I used um, also some burned blanket yarn in this terracotta color and the body is some um, I think it's big twist too okay I can tell you part of it is big twist then I ran out and then I just use some posh yarn so it's kind of like you can see the difference right here but it still look cute I think and then I just put some patch patches you know I try to do patches while I'm crocheting so that's my sheep and that's my own pattern so I had this sangria digital book that I bought from Amazon this book has been around a while, long time and at the time it used to sell the book the Amagrumi sangria book for a reasonable price and I didn't buy it and then years after I decided, I said, you know what, well, maybe I should. My daughter keeps telling me, mom, make some sangria items and so on. So I did go and look for the book. But when I did go and look for the book, the book was 80 something dollars at the time. And um, so I was able to get the digital copy for, how much did I pay? I can't remember exactly. But I have it on my Kindle and if I got a, copy I could I will post it somewhere here so you can see what book I'm talking about so um, I did make some items from that book so I made this pom-pom perrin and this is using um, Michael's light snuggle light yarn and this is Chanel yarn from the Dollar Tree I have a little bit of the brown because I can't seem to find real brown uh, plushy yarn so I made this pom pom in out of the book the sangria book and then I made this little apple guy he's supposed to have a bee on top of his head but I didn't put the bee so I made it with some plush yarn from Michaels and some this black is um, parfait chunky the red is some parfait chunky the green for the leaves is some blanket yarn so it's a mixture of all different <laughs> kinds of yarn but I think I made his, his little smile is a little crooked it needed this one's I needed to go over that way I embroidered the eyes I didn't put any and there is one more that I made it was Hello Kitty in a penguin suit. I'll probably insert a picture somewhere if I can find. But I took it to the market and somebody bought it. So I don't have it. So those are some finished amigurumi that I finished in the past time I haven't been here on YouTube. And I am working, I was working on a blanket for my friend. She bought some yarn and she asked me to make a blanket because she wanted to give it as a gift. So I finished the blanket and she bought the blanket yarn in yellow and cream. So what I did, I made a C to C blanket. So this is kind of like a lap blanket and then I trim it with the cream yarn. So I'm just waiting for her to come and pick it up. But I did run out, so, so what I did, I had some, I didn't have the exact color, but I had some sparkly blanket yarn, and I had to finish the edge with that, so, yeah, it will be fine. So, I finished that, this blanket is very heavy. There we go, so, it's a great, um, lap blanket so I finished that and there's uh, lots of other things that I've finished in the past it's almost a month since I ever made a video 
and I took it to the market. It's in, some of them are still in my market bin. Some of them I sold. But this week, I did make some little things, and I'm going to show you. Sorry for the crinkling. I have a bag here that when I finish stuff, I tend to throw it inside. I'm looking because I know I made some avocado and so on. Hold a minute, let me find it. Yes, yeah, so I have made some little octo. So I've made this one, and this is using a number four weight yarn. And this pattern here is from Croquet. I'll try and see if I can link it in the description box below. So, but this is a free pattern on our blog. So I made one of them. So I'm trying to use up some four weight yarn that I have. So I made that one. Then this is my pattern that I just sit at <laughs> free flow. It's like a little monster backpack thing. So I made this one and I'm in the process of making another one because I find a lot of people are buying the keychains and I sell these keychain at my market for $7. So sometimes people would just come and buy like six. Each kid would have one. So I'm trying to come up with new little pattern for that. Normally I would make the octos and frogs and so on and avocado. So I want to see if I could make other newer little things that the kids would like. Also for the boys. Most times, sometimes just you find things for the girls. So I'm trying to make some things that the boys would like. So I also made this frog and this is my own just free flow frog. And what I did I just make a frog and then I put the mushroom on top of his head. So I'm going to put some, I have to put some little, um, you know, spots on the mushroom. So I have to finish that. So I probably put this as a keychain, but I think it's a little too big for a keychain. Anyhow. Things kids like to carry stuff on their back, but bodies. I was watching a YouTuber and she made this dandelion from someone on Instagram. But sometimes when I try to find things on Instagram, I don't find it. So I look at what they did, not exactly the pattern, but how it looks. So I just come up with my own dandelion. But uh, the one that she have had something here and it was plush yarn. But I made this in a number four weight yarn and I just do my own thing. The tail is not that perfect, but you know, sometimes kids like a little different things. So I don't know if I'm going to make another one, but this is my dandelion that I free flow. <laughs> and I have a avocado keychain pattern. I didn't do a tutorial on it, but this is mine because most of the avocado pattern, they are too big for keychain. So what I did, I just come up with my own pattern for avocado keychains. So this is one and here is another one. And I have these eyes. I was watching Caroline for the love of crochet and she was showing these eyes. She inspired me and then she also made me go and buy stuff. So I bought these eyes from Amazon and I tried on my avocado. So I have to put, I have these, a whole pack of these keychain things that I bought from Amazon. So here I attach a green one and then I'm just going to put a lobster claw to clip on the backpack. So I have to finish these. I made three. So I made, normally I make one with the bone, which this is called the bone. And then I make one without the bone. So I have to make the ones without the bone. So these are three with the bone. And so I like these eyes. And then I'm going to put little blushes on them and stuff like that. So these are my three avocado that I made. If you would like to see me do a tutorial for the keychain for the avocado, leave it in the comment section below. 
All right, so guys, what are you working on? I'm just yapping along. Are you working on anything that, you know, I'm still working on my year long blanket. I did make some progress, but it's all the way upstairs and I don't want to go upstairs and get it. So I'll show you that in another video. So I made some some mush, but I did do a little, my hair is crazy. I did do a little modification. So what I did, I made this and look at what I did. I made the arms longer <laughs> and then I put a knot at the end. You see all these knotted lovies and stuff. So I just made my mush and I just made his arm lighter. Then I embroidered the eyes and look where I put the eyes guys. Look at it. <laughs> So what I use for this is um, Michael's um, Snuggle Light in this color. And then I use the Michael's Loops and Threads Sweet Snuggle Light, but in this to make the arms and the cap. And then I just made this part here a little longer. I was thinking... I did make one and I put a knot. I'm going to show you that in a minute. So this is my mouche. And this is his little embroider face and mouth. Every time I make mouche and take them to the market, someone always buy it. So the last couple I made, someone bought them, so I decided, but I always make it in number four weight yarn. This is the first time I made it in plush yarn. So here is another one, but I haven't even finished this one. I have to put some embroidered his eyes on. So this one I put a little knot at the top, and his arms is also knotted. If I lose, I can loose out the arms. And I'll show you what I my intention so this is the arms it's all floppy wobbly if the kid want they could also tie it like this <laughs> you know so this is my mush pattern in the body but I just adopt the arm and make it longer and I also um, do less stitches because you know if I do this amount of stitches in number four weight yarn the mush would come out smaller so what I did I just do a instead of the amount of stitch that I made for the original mush I just make it a little smaller because this is plush yarn and if I do it in the pattern that I made for the original mush it would be way bigger so these are my new mushy pattern <laughs> that I made so I'm going to tie the arms again so those are the things I have made in the last month or so I did make some other things but I don't have it here with me and I did buy some yarn I did get some I mean bought some of this yarn I so I got these yarn from Joann's. I keep saying Michael's, I don't know why. I got this brown color. So it's been a while ago that I've been... So these yarn are from Joann's. So there was buying, buy three and get three yarn. So I'll show you a couple of the yarn that I got. So I got this blanket yarn and this is a, let's see if I can find a color, the color is mellow yellow. I want to make a giraffe with this, creating my own pattern, of course, not of, <laughs> I shouldn't sound so smug. Oh, I would like to make my a giraffe pattern of my own. So I got this also to make, you know, the nozzle and so on. And this is a almond color. So then I saw this. Michael's had these also by three. 
Why I keep saying Michaels? It's not Michaels. It's Joanne. Sorry, guys. It's Joanne. Joanne had these big twist yarn, and it is new to me. At first, I thought it was like the posh yarn that I bought. It's similar to the posh. But when I look at it, it said baby bear. So I got some of those. So I think I got four balls of that. So I got, I don't think these have colorway. They have number. Oh, oh they do have colorway. So this is a blue sky. And this one here is peach. And it's teddy bear. So, and then I got this one, and this also is a teddy bear, and this color is light gray. And I got this, and I do have the ball band here. And this one was brown sugar. So I bought these three colors in the teddy bear, in the four colors, sorry, in the teddy bear. So um, I started to use the brown sugar one to make a cow. So I haven't finished that yet. And um, it's a, a little cow tutorial that I found on YouTube. I'm, I'm trying to... I have one market that... The market is going to go on throughout the year. But I normally don't do summer market. So this will be my last market coming up. And it will be on Saturday. So... I'm trying to do that the last market Saturday. Then I also bought this one too. And this is what I use for my chickens. Or and also if I'm doing axolotl, I use this for the gill. So this is the blanket tweed yarn. So those are all my yarn that I bought for now. And I'm telling myself I'm not going to buy any more yarn because... Um, the market has slowed down a, quite a lot, so I don't want to invest any more money into yarn. I'm just going to use what I have and prepare for the fall market, the fall and winter market. And most time, you know, they have a lot of holidays coming up to that time. And people will normally buy stuff for Christmas and, you know, and so on. So that's what I'm planning. So I'm going to, I have quite a few things in my bin that I've made. And I'm going to try and sell those and see what's going to happen. Right now I'm just making some keychains and my little mushy guys that I have. And I, I do have an Etsy shop and I'm thinking maybe over the summer what I can do is also list some of my... You know some of my things that I have in my Etsy shop and see if I will get some of those sell over the years I did list a few and I did get sell so and I start the market and I just stop listing it so I hopefully I'll have some more time to dedicate to my Etsy shop during the summer time and I'll list some of those things so I think that's all I have for you now guys and um, Thank you for joining me and I love hearing from you guys. So leave any comments, any question you would like to ask me in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer those questions. So I'll see you in my next video. Remember to be kind and God bless. Until next time. Bye bye.